the definition of density is how much mass you can cram into an object. So if you had if you had an empty cube like this, and you could put some stuff in it, it's going to get heavier, right? Yeah. If I could put a lot more stuff in it, it's going to get even heavier. If I fill this with feathers, is it going to be very heavy? No. no. If I fill it with lead, is it going to be heavy? Yeah. Yeah, yes. it's going to be pretty heavy. Okay? So that's what density is. Density is telling us how much stuff we can jam into a cube. Now, the cubes that we use in density are, are not that big. This cube here, if I measure it, it's a centimeter by a centimeter by a centimeter in every direction. So we call this a cubic centimeter. If you're a doctor, we would call this a CC. You ever hear that on medical shows? Give the patient 30 cc's of, yeah. of adrenaline or whatever. This is a cc, a cubic centimeter. So what we want to do with density is we want to see how much each little cube of stuff weighs. How much mass is in um, a cubic centimeter. So this is the equation that we use. We take the mass of the object and we divide it by the volume of the object. How much space the volume the, the object takes up. So what I've got here is don't tell anybody. I stole the couch cushion from the faculty lounge. <laughs> and if you look at it, it's kind of squarish. Right? Cube? Yeah. So imagine that this was like a big potato and I brought it down to home ec and I make diced dice potatoes and I chopped it up and then I chopped it up and then I chopped it up and I wound up with little cubes. I could measure how many cubes there would be in this pillow. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. I'm going to take my meter stick and I'm going to measure how high it is. Right here, 55 centimeters across here. Does anyone know the equation for volume? Very good. Length times width times height is equal to volume. <coughs> so all I have to do is take the length times the width times the height, and it doesn't matter which is length, width, and height, because I could just take this cube and turn it like this, and now the length is now the width, and I could start playing with it that way. So I take out a calculator, okay, and I do 17 times 55 times 53. And that gives me, wow, 49,555. Remember, cubic centimeters. Centimeters to the third power. So what that means, if I brought this down to home ec and had them chop it down up into diced potatoes, I would have 49,000 diced potatoes like this. If I want to make this out of Lego blocks, and the Lego blocks were this big, I'd need 49,555 of these to make this. So that's what we mean by volume. Now the mass of this pillow is how much it weighs. So I took the pillow before, it doesn't fit on these scales that I have, but I took this pillow before and I brought it downstairs to the nurse's office and I put it on her scale because her scale is bigger, and I weighed it, and the pillow was almost exactly the pillow was almost exactly 1,000 grams. That makes the math work nice and easy. It wasn't exactly, but I decided to round up and make it 1,000 grams. So if we wanted to figure out the density of this pillow, I'm just going to erase all my extra stuff here. Okay, so I've got my volume. Okay, my equation is mass divided by volume. So I take the numbers, my mass is 1,000 grams, divided by 49,555 centimeters cubed, and I wind up with a number of, is equal to, Point zero two zero grams per centimeter cubed. Now that looks like a real kind of crazy number. 
what this means is I have 0 0.02 grams, which is very light. That's like a feather for every cubic centimeter. So my pillow here, for every one of these that I chop up out of the pillow and I put it on a scale, it'll weigh 0 0.020 grams. So that's a really, really light weight. That's a really low density. Does that make sense if it's a pillow? Are pillows heavy and dense? No, they're light and fluffy, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do something strange to this pillow. This is my favorite part. We're going to do some weird stuff. here before anything happens. It's 11 high, 47 across. Okay, you can feel it. Get my couch cushion oh. in. Right? That, it, that could be for a car. It feels harder now, right? Yeah, that could be for a car. Okay, now, here's the best part. This is the favorite part. This is great. Alright, watch, watch, watch. <laughs> couch cushions at home, and then when you suck it down and it shrinks it up, your, your parents are like, you are so grounded. And you're like, no mom, watch, watch, wait. And then you let the air back in and it fluffs up, and they're like, oh. And if you really want to make points for mom and dad, you want to know, I learned this trick from, from actually a vacuum cleaner salesman who came to my house, showed me how powerful his vacuum was. I didn't buy his vacuum, but I said, wow, that's a pretty neat trick, I gotta do that in class. What he did was, when he let the air back into the pillow, he grabbed, he, you know that potpourri, that, that little sack of stuff that smells pretty? He took a, a sack of that and he held it over the opening. And when it sucked the air back in, all the air went through the potpourri and it made the pillow smell really good right, right into the center of it. It's not like just putting perfume on the surface. It went all the way into the middle of the pillow. And it smelled really nice for weeks and weeks and weeks. Do that and you'll pick, make points with mom. Okay, now. What did the vacuum cleaner suck out of the pillow? Yeah, the air. the air. Does air have mass? Yes. Yes, it does. Does it have a lot of mass? Yes. No, air is very light. So, when I remove the air out of this pillow, I remove very, very little mass. Maybe one gram of air. How much does a pillow weigh? Uh, Eleven. A thousand grams. So if I remove one gram, it's 999. That's about 1,000, right? So basically, we didn't take anything away from the pillow. But we did change the volume. Let's calculate the new volume. Equals 24,299. That's about half, isn't it? So if I calculate my new density, Zero four one grams per cubic centimeters. Compare these two numbers. Which one's higher? The first one or the second one? Second. Second one. Second one is now higher. By making my pillow smaller, I made it more dense. I made it heavier. I made it feel heavier. If I took the pillow and threw it in the pool, it wouldn't float as good. It'll still float, but it won't float as well. 